11 Southeast Asian countries. Which is the worst and which is the best? Good day and welcome back to Trivia World Explorer. For today's video, we will run down the Southeast Asian countries from worst to best. The rankings will be based on the Human Development Index or HDI. The Human Development Index HDI is a statistical measure used to assess and compare the overall human development of different countries. It was created by the United Nations Development Program UNDP as a way to go beyond income-based measures of development, such as gross domestic product GDP per capita and consider broader aspects of human well-being. Before we start, please give us a like and comment down your thoughts, as well as subscribe and push that bell button so that you won't miss our next upload. Without further ado, let's start the countdown. At number 11, Myanmar, HDI, 0.585. Myanmar is relatively low in HDI due to several factors, such as limited access to healthcare and education, political instability, and economic challenges, which have hindered progress and development in the country. Additionally, ongoing conflicts and human rights issues have further contributed to the lower HDI ranking of Myanmar. At number 10, Cambodia, HDI. 0.593. Cambodia is relatively low in HDI due to factors such as limited access to quality healthcare and education, high poverty rates, and challenges in human development indicators such as life expectancy and education completion rates. Additionally, historical factors like the Khmer Rouge regime and ongoing issues related to governance and infrastructure have influenced Cambodia's lower HDI ranking. At number 8.5, East Timor. East Timor is relatively low in HDI due to factors such as limited access to basic services like education, healthcare, and clean water, as well as high rates of poverty and unemployment. Additionally, the country has faced challenges related to rebuilding infrastructure and addressing the impacts of past conflicts, which have hindered its overall human development progress. At number 8.5, Laos, HDI, 0.607. Laos is relatively low in HDI due to factors such as limited access to quality education and healthcare, particularly in rural areas. Additionally, the country faces challenges such as high poverty rates, infrastructure deficiencies, and the lingering effects of past conflicts, which have impacted its overall human development progress. At number 7, the Philippines, HDI, 0.699. The Philippines is considered moderate in HDI due to a combination of factors. While the country has made significant progress in education and healthcare, it still faces challenges such as income inequality, poverty, and regional disparities, which prevent it from achieving a higher ranking in the HDI. At number 6, Vietnam, HDI, 0.703. Vietnam has a relatively high HDI due to several factors. The country has made significant strides in improving health outcomes, expanding access to education, and reducing poverty, which have contributed to its overall high human development ranking. Additionally, Vietnam's strong economic growth, focus on social development, and investment in infrastructure have also played a key role in its high HDI standing. At number 5, Indonesia, HDI, 0.705. Indonesia is relatively high in HDI due to several factors. The country has made significant progress in improving healthcare access, expanding educational opportunities, and reducing poverty, which have contributed to its overall high human development ranking. Additionally, Indonesia's diverse economy, natural resources, and investments in infrastructure have played a role in its high HDI standing. At number 4, Thailand, HDI, 0.800. Thailand has a very high HDI due to its strong commitment to improving education and healthcare, resulting in widespread access to quality services. 
Additionally, the country's robust economy, infrastructure development, and effective governance have contributed to its high human development ranking. At number 3, Malaysia, HDI, 0.803. Malaysia is considered very high in HDI due to several factors. The country has made significant progress in improving education and healthcare, reducing poverty, and maintaining a strong economy, which have all contributed to its high human development ranking. Additionally, Malaysia's focus on infrastructure development, social programs, and effective governance have played a significant role in its overall high HDI standing. At number 2, Brunei, HDI, 0.89. Brunei is considered very high in HDI due to several factors. The country has a high standard of living with a strong economy driven by oil and gas reserves, which has contributed to its high human development ranking. Additionally, Brunei's investment in education, healthcare, and infrastructure, along with its stable governance and low poverty rates, have also played a significant role in its overall high HDI standing. And at number 1, Singapore, HDI, 0.939. Singapore is considered very high in HDI due to several factors. The country's exceptional education system has nurtured a highly skilled workforce, while advanced healthcare facilities and high GDP per capita have contributed to the overall high human development ranking. Additionally, Singapore's efficient infrastructure and commitment to innovation have further propelled its economic and human development accomplishments. Those are the rankings of Southeast Asian countries, from worst to best. Thank you so much for watching, and see you again on the next episode.